Okay, it is time. We just got off of our excursion. We just got to the hotel, showered really fast. We are exhausted. But we have reservations at a restaurant called Hoku's, which is this guy right here. He's a Michelin star chef. So, of course, for all you people who watch this channel for the food, this is gonna be for you. Okay, and here's our beautiful lobby. Hey, look at my shirt. You guys like my shirt? Shirt's pretty cool, huh? It's fit to go Hawaiian. I've been waiting three years to wear this shirt. Three years to wear this shirt, and we're finally here. I asked him to throw it away. <laughs> Just kidding. Here we are. Hoku. Their table's ready. They've been waiting for us. So, what do you think so far? Oh, I love it already. I'm so excited. Look at, check out this view. Wow. Okay, here we have bread. Nice and warm. This is an ahi pokey dish. Are you gonna try it? Try it, try it. Okay, you could see the pokey in there. Is there really? Smells good. Take your breath. Oh wow, this is so soft. It's really good. It's like citrusy. It has green onions in there, so that's a good addition. And then pieces of ahi tuna, of course. Maybe the bread, 10 out of 10. So soft, so good. I'm a butter fan, but this is delicious. Mmm, very soft. Good. <laughs> oh my gosh, the chef sent out an emoji bouge. That's the emoji bougie. <laughs> it's a palate cleanser. It is crispy nori with some cookie and an avocado mousse on top. A mousse bougie. <laughs> wow. Nate doesn't want his, so I will eat it. Okay, here. Erin already has our mousse bougie, so I'm gonna eat my mousse bougie. The <laughs> bougie. What is it? What is it? What is it? It's our ahi carpaccio um, with some avocado mousse, some onion, some seaweed. Go. Oh <laughs> Let's try that again. Gosh. Look at the fish is still trying to swim away. It's that fresh. <laughs> trying to get back to the ocean. Oh, that's really good. It's like melting your mouth here. And then the onion really acts as a flavor enhancer here. Super good. Okay. Okay. We have here. Tuna. <laughs> Look at this flower. This is a delicacy here in Hawaii. Hawaii. It's for me. Very nice. This is very nice. This, can I have a Samoa? <laughs> I don't know from the Polynesian Center. Okay, Aaron's gonna try the ravioli. So the ravioli sits on the pumpkin pie crust. with brown butter. It has lobster and shrimp. Oh my god, that looks so good. It has some pomegranate seeds around it and some Brussels sprouts. I'm a fan of getting a bite of everything the first time. So, go for it, go for it. Go ahead and. That's really well. Wow. Let's have a Brussels sprout. That's also really good. 10 out of 10? 10 out of 10. Here, we have this one plate. And on top of the warm plate, nestled is a real 
Wow, look at that. It's just one ravioli, but it's filled with great stuff. Pumpkin sauce. It has a foam on it. We're gonna do this thing. We're gonna do this thing, ladies and gents. Wow. It's very hard to get a wow out of you. Oh, man. Are you trying with the pomegranate? Yeah. And the Brussels sprouts. Look at the middle right there. Lobster. Wow. So good. Okay. Here's where me and Aaron differ in our menu selection. I got the short rib, and Aaron got this Honker Main Lobster. Check that out, boy. Ready? You want to see what this reminds me of? Hold it, hold it. Can you oh, see it? <laughs> okay, let's try this. You have a bite of everything. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. Check this out. This is short rib. Wow, super tender. Look at that. So soft. Okay, just a little bit for now. And some um, Hawaiian mushrooms. Some mashed potatoes. Oh, it's polenta. Very good. Very good. You guys, we're almost done and I'm sad. I'm sad because we're going to have to leave this place, but it was so cool. Okay, so Aaron asked me which one was better lobster? Or, there's no remnants, but the short rib. And I think they're both good. You have to get either one, yeah, but it just depends on what you want. If you want seafood, get the lobster. If you want meat, get this one. They're both good. It just depends on what you're feeling that night. That's all I can say. Wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. This was the clear winner. I've had good short rib. Really good short rib. Um, I'm trying to remember where we had it recently where it was really good. But this the combination of flavor with the cured lemon you had the lobster which was pre-cut into the actual bodice of the lobster you didn't have to do much work um and then the way the like the cauliflower melting wrap oh my gosh and then these potatoes i'm gonna take this home no not but um in all honesty to me this was a clear winner i could understand some people don't do seafood and that's probably why that's on the menu uh, <laughs> It's for the people that don't eat seafood. Uh, but, yeah, I am happy with my dish. I would rate mine an 11 out of 10, and I would rate Nate's a 10 out of 10. Is it worth it? Yes. It was good to celebrate our anniversary. Don't wait for dessert. Okay, everyone, I decided to live life a little bit and put creamer in my coffee. <laughs> it's cool when you get sugar it comes on this sugar cane or this sugar rock candy thing and you mix it in your coffee and there you go to your pleasure that's Hawaiian style I guess they gave us macaroons for our anniversary <laughs> wow wow Look at I got a pineapple upside down cake. Look at that beauty. And Aaron got some kind of a macadamia nut cake. These lily coin macarons. Oh my god, so good. I'm gonna try this right now. Okay, so good anniversary day. Yeah. Happy anniversary, husband. Oh. Ho, ho. So that is it, everybody. This is a happy anniversary to us. We made it. Yay. Happy anniversary, wife. So, yeah, that's for real. The end of this video. Until tomorrow. We're going swimming with... Oh, yeah. So...
I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.